Hey guys, welcome back to Coding Flamingo. So, if you guys have watched Silicon Valley, you probably remember of the Seafood app, which was the app that Ying Yin made for that would see what food it is, but it actually only was able to tell whether or not it was a hot dog, which he eventually ended up selling that uh, company for $30 million. So, today we're gonna use the ML.NET model builder in Visual Studio that just got released to do exactly the same with zero ML experience. So we're gonna use our Blazor app that we created in the previous video, and we're just gonna use the ML Builder, which we do by going right click, add, machine learning, and here it gives you the, all the different scenarios that they let you have. So right now, they have these four, and then they're working on others, as you can see down here, anomaly detection forecasting, so they have Test classification, so text classification. So basically, predictive comments are positive or negative or different things. Basically, you just give it a bunch of text in different buckets and it'll figure out what each uh, text it is. Value prediction, so like let's say you give it a bunch of features of houses and prices, and it will be able to predict uh, housing prices based on the features you give it. Image classification, which is what we're going to use. Today, you just give it a bunch of samples of the images that they have to uh, in different folders. Like, for example, in here, they give an example of a dog or a cat, and like you have a folder of dog pictures and a folder of cat pictures, and then you upload a picture, and it will be able to tell you whether or not it's a dog or a cat. And recommendations. So, like, this is, for example, what like Amazon uses to like stuff that you might like and stuff like that uh, that they have on their site. So, as you can see, most of them currently only support local machine learning, which means this has to be trained in your computer. Image classification lets you use Azure ML, and it will like build up the Azure compute for it. It will run it, and then it will shut it down. So it's kind of invisible for you, other than you have to pay for the compute. Local does not support graphics cards right now, so you will have to do it with your CPU. We're going to do local today because I'm not going to pay for compute to create a hot dog app. So now we let's go to, so I'm going to select local. Now we're going to select the data. So I already downloaded some hot dog data. Uh, okay, so it's in my PC, my D drive, git, flamingo, hot dog, not hot dog, train. So in here you can see I have a folder that has hot dog pictures. A picture that has not hot dog things. So next thing we're gonna train. Uh, we're using almost 500 images for it and this is gonna take a while so obviously I'm just gonna pause the video and I'll retake after that but with the evaluation so I'll see you in a bit. A few moments later. Alright so now it finished training uh, so as you can see, it tells you the accuracy that it has, the algorithm it used. Now we can evaluate it. So we can select an image. So this is from the test folder. So as you can see, I had the train that I used. Now we're going to use a test. We're going to try a hot dog. You can tell me that 100% it is a hot dog. We can try another image. Still 100%. Let's try a harder image. Alright, now let's try a not hot dog image. So it tells me that 80%, I'm so pretty sure that it's not a hot dog. So now that that works, uh, we just have to go to next step and this will add two projects so it added the model and it adds a sample console app so if we go to the console app it will show you how it works and and how you can call it um, so basically if we go back here it tells you you have to add the model and then you add the model input and you add the data. So that's basically it for this tutorial. In the in the next one, we're gonna look at.
how to actually implement it into our code, upload the picture, and get the result. And thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.